I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this Moroccan style concrete tile plant pot. Okay, so here's the equipment you need. First of all, a jigsaw, some nails, paintbrush, ruler and pencil, you've got your hammer, some timber board, and as you can see the size there, that's what I went for. Then we've got the chalk paint, measuring tape and finally the wallpaper with a pattern that you choose to stick on. So as the board is 200 millimetres in length what we're doing to make a square box is to measure 200 millimetres along each time to make four equal parts. So as you can see, we've got four equal parts. So next comes the cutting. Okay, so once you've cut your four pieces of wood, you've got your remaining piece of wood. So put them on top and you can see roughly how big your base is going to be. And then you just need to draw a line with a pencil across to be able to cut it and you should get an even base. Next it's hammer time. Okay, this comes the painting part. So what we're doing is we're going to give it two coats of paint and this, the um, Evelyn Grant chalk floor paint in slate grey is going to make it look like this is the, um, the concrete. I'm going to give it a, a paint of coat all over and then I'm going to do the inside and then I'm going to do a second coat and then we will move on to the wallpaper. So the box has been uh, painted twice now and it's got quite an even colour and now it's time to fit the wallpaper to make it look like tiles on top. So the best thing to do to be um, as accurate as we can is to lay the box and we've actually got our which is really handy with this wallpaper our four squares with the different patterns on there so is to put one of the sides um just level that up a little bit looks pretty straight to me on the side and then draw a pencil mark all the way around and you can cut it out so what i've done you can probably see is that i've marked gently the side of one piece which is this size here. I'm actually going to cut it a few millimetres in so that when I stick it onto the side, it will actually look like the concrete behind. Um, first thing to do, obviously, you can cut down here to make it easier to manage. And obviously with a wall, um, uh, with a roll rather of wallpaper, we've got plenty of room for error. So don't worry too much if, it, so if you don't get the right fit the first time. Right, so we've got our first square and what we're going to do is we're going to paste it using ready to use pastel adhesive, pick this up from B&Q, onto the side of the box and notice that we've left um, so a little gap all the way around so it looks a bit more authentic. Now it's a good idea to give it a couple of coats of spray varnish, especially if you're going to be putting it into a bathroom where it's going to be damp just to seal it in. And here we have the finished product. Looks great, huh?
thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.